The Howard Hinton Collection is a unique glimpse into the art world of Sydney in the 1920s and 30s and early 40s. And it creates an opportunity for people to have a taste of what people were making at that time, as well as some of the great artists from the first half of the 20th century, people like Streeton and Roberts and Gruner, and what they were doing as well. Howard Hinton arrived in Australia in 1892, and he went and reputedly stayed in the artist camps where people like Tom Roberts and Arthur Streeton and Julian Ashton were all living and working. So Howard somehow found out about this community and became a part of it for a period of time and he never really left the North Shore. He ended up living in a house called Hazelhurst on Cremorne Point which was just a stone's throw away from Mossman's Bay and of course one of the key works in the Howard Hinton collection is Tom Roberts' painting of Mossman's Bay. I think he wanted to be an artist but had bad eyesight and so I think that his way of channeling his own creative impulses was to befriend artists and to be heavily involved in the art scene. He went to a lot of openings, he went to the auctions, he went to the artist camps. He knew these artists and formed relationships with them. So it was a very genuine appreciation of art and at the same time he kept very few works himself. He would go to art exhibitions and ask which artists need my help. So he would actually buy works from artists who were having a hard time or needed some work um, purchased. He was a great believer that you bought work to, to help an artist. And a lot of the works by these artists you see in other galleries are the big major works, but here he's capturing and, and buying the domestic size works that people would take home and live with. And, and that's what's one of the great appealing things about this collection is that it's, it's very much domestic in scale. One of the reviews of the collection from back in the day sort of says he would pick the gem in that exhibition and would end up in Howard Hinton's collection. An artist called Margaret Cohen used to say if Howard Hinton collected you, it meant you'd made it. This is the Armadale Teachers College, which now houses the New England Conservatorium of Music, but it also was the original home for the Howard Hinton collection. Between 1929 and 1948, Howard Hinton sent over 1,000 artworks and some 700 books to the Armadale Teachers College for the students and the staff to enjoy. So they used to house and line the walls of this institution. Prior to that, Hinton had also donated works to the Art Gallery of New South Wales. However, the story goes that whilst he was in Europe, he sent a selection of works to the Art Gallery of New South Wales and that donation wasn't accepted. So that event prompted him to look for an alternative space for his ongoing collection. He wrote to S.H. Smith, who was the director of the Board of Education for New South Wales, and asked if there was some kind of education building that might be a good site for this art to go to. And Smith suggested that the Armadale Teachers College, which had recently been finished, might be the perfect place for this art to go. In 1930, after the building was completed, Howard came to visit and he was impressed with the faculty, he was impressed with the students, and he was impressed with all the empty walls of this great big building. So he saw an opportunity to make his mark and to collect and build one of the great art collections in Australian art history. We ended up with over a thousand artworks in the collection here from the Howard Hinton Collection. It's one of the most significant art collections in regional New South Wales, if not regional Australia, and it's got a great treasury of masterpieces that we can now show to people.